In this video, we're going to take a look at fulfilling orders coming from Shopify, bringing those orders into Intact as sales invoices paid, and also being able to use options when it comes to shipping, like for example, a multi-carrier shipping option that we'll show you today. Let's begin by taking a look at an example of a Shopify site. So we've got our Shopify sample site here and taking you down through this, we're going to look at the items we're going to use for our story today. So if you looked at other videos in the series, we've tried to stay consistent with using items that you might find in a chemistry kit. Today we're going to be looking at the Erlenmeyer flask, test tubes, and test tube stands. So with that, let's move over to the administrative side so that I can process an order without actually taking credit card payment. Here you'll see that I'm over in the Shopify administrative side looking at uh, creating an order from an admin. So I'm gonna select a customer, myself here, and I'm gonna pick a few items. With those items that we were just looking at, let's go ahead and select to pick these different items that we were talking about. So I'm gonna get an Erlenmeyer flask, I'm gonna get test tubes and test tube stands, I'm going to add them to the order. Here, I'm just going to leave them simple quantities. So we're going to leave them as one. We're going to add a shipping option here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put specifically the USPS selection. And I'm going to pick a very specific number here for that. So we can see how it's going to flow through. So I'm going to go for 378 as the amount for this shipping. And I'm going to apply it. Next step here is instead of trying to process this with a credit card, I'm going to go ahead and as an administrator, market is paid. Right? Let's just say I, I got paid in cash actually for this and I'm processing this through. So uh, this allows me to do this from the administrative side. I'm going to create this order. So in review, what you see here is for this order, uh, this is for a customer with this shipping address with these three items and also with shipping stated as USPS for the amount of 378. This is Shopify order 1103. Let's go ahead and now switch hats and look at this from the perspective of someone in the warehouse needing to fulfill it. So now as somebody from the warehouse, I'm going to go ahead and interact with a handheld that they'd be walking around with. So I can go and select in the simple menu here to pick an order and when I select this uh, you'll be able to see that instead of having to print out orders somebody could go ahead and see right on their handheld okay what orders are waiting for me to go ahead and fulfill you'll see that Shopify order 1103 is waiting for me to go ahead and pick it because the system automatically can allocate against that with that, I can look here and one of the capabilities is it's going to direct me around the warehouse in the most optimized way to get the items. I see that it's telling me, you know, the first stop is bin 1A01A. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to scan it. You may hear the beep in the background. That's actually the beep of the handheld as I'm scanning. So the first item I need to get is this Erlenmeyer flask. I grab it, I select it, I pick one. Next one is the test tube. Let's say I accidentally grab something that's not the test tube. It's going to tell me. So it's protecting me from mispicking. Now I actually get the right item here. I'm going to go ahead and select this and select one. And I'm also going to go ahead and grab the final item, which is this test tube stand. And I'm done. So now I've completed my pick. Next step here is to figure out how we're going to get these items out the door. There's a couple options we have. So with QStock, you could actually do uh, a direct shipping integration that we have pre-built with FedEx and UPS. Or it could be something that's going out by freight, right? Say it's going out on a truck. Uh, you can ship manually with those kind of options as well and be able to note some type of reference for that. Or uh, a third instance is in the Shopify world, there's uh, some popular multi-carrier shipping options. So I'm going to show you an example of one of them. Uh, of the ones that are most popular that we notice are Shipping Easy and ShipStation. I'm going to show you Shipping Easy today as an example. So I'm on my Shipping Easy screen, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this so that it can pull up the freshest set of orders. And we see that I actually have order 1103 right here. And when I look at the items, 
this is indeed when it comes up the set of items that we just picked right the Erlenmeyer flask test tube and test tube stand now what I can do here is similar to what I was doing with that Shopify order I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as shipped instead of going through the whole process of being charged against this shipment I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say hey my tracking number looks like this so I'm going to go ahead and send this you see that it's for the carrier USPS as we had selected before and I'm gonna save now this is gonna go ahead and mark in the different systems that this is officially sent out the door. This is going to kick off a couple different processes here. One is, let's go ahead and hop back into Shopify. So when I look at this order here for Shop 1103, what's great about this is it's going to mark in Shopify that this is now fulfilled. And I'm going to go down and you see that this says that it was fulfilled by Shipping Easy. It has the tracking number. And what actually happens, additionally, is the way that uh, Shopify and QStock are connected together, it's going to go and kick off the process, where it's going to even send an email um, to the customer saying, hey, your stuff is on its way. And the tracking number is going to flow through. And we're going to see how it also flows through into other parts of the system, like QStock itself and Intact. So let's hop over into Intact so that we can see the end of our story here. So if we look over in Order Entry, we'll be able to see how this order completes in processing. You'll notice here that I have shop 1103 as this reference number, which is exactly what we were just looking at a minute ago. And this has been a sales invoice that's been created into the Intact system. I'm going to go ahead and view it. As I view this item, I'll see that in here, in this invoice, I have these items that I had picked, packed, and shipped along with my shipping as you notice for the amount of 378 you'll also notice that the tracking number flows into this header of the document which is pretty handy the final kicker here is that on top of that you know let's say um, in this scenario we were mimicking uh, the payment happening and saying that it happened by cash but you'll notice that what this can do is in the way that we've set it up you can actually apply payment um, coming from Shopify into here. And since the payment method is cash, it's leaving it blank. But when you've got a credit card payment, we're actually going to pull in information that this was paid by credit card and give you some type of authorization key so that you can be able to match that back to what was happening on the Shopify side. This saves a lot of time when it comes to being able to close out these different sales invoices and really cleans up the overall workflow right? when it comes to the reconciling work later on. I'm going to take a final step here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a look at the order itself also from the perspective of looking at it in QStock. So you see that really across every single one of these systems there's a lot of shared information so for the people in QStock they're able to also be able to see that hey you know the this is something that's shipped, it's paid, I can look and see that payment was applied. I can be able to see that it was shipped at this time with this tracking number and also a full history of who touched it when and what happened with it right in different areas. So that wraps up our overall process of being able to fulfill orders coming from Shopify, be able to actually pick, pack, and ship them to get them out the door, and fully process the order uh, with completion into intact with even being able to pre-apply payments and then tie them into that invoice later. But that's not all we can do. Here are some additional ways where we can add efficiencies and make the work smoother between your finance and your operations team. So for more information, head on to our website at www.qstockinventory.com or give us a call at 408-252-9000. Thanks and hope to get to talk to you soon.